Welcome back to every Chess YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this just drink hoodie. So if this is what you would like to learn, highly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. The hoodie is what is attached to the neckline that just goes over the head like that. Okay, it's very simple to make and I'll be attaching it to this kimono dress. So I already have a video on how I made this kimono dress on the channel. I will leave the link, I'll leave the link down below in the comment section if you want to check it out. So to make this hoodie, I'm going to take my neckline together like this and then I'll measure what I have from my back neckline to my front. Remember, taking it together like this means that the neckline is on fold. So I'll take my tape right now and then measure it around. And here I have 10 inches. Okay, so I need this measurement to craft my hoodie. So I'm working with this Hakara fabric and then I'll be putting it on fold like this. Okay, so I've put my fabric on fold now and the width I'll be working with is the measurement I took on the neckline, which is 10 inches. So here I have 10 inches and I added half inch allowance to make it 10 and a half. I'm trying to avoid what is written on the surface. That is why I stopped around here. So I have 10 and a half inches for my width and for my length, I'll be using 15 inches. Okay, you can use between 15, 16 or whatever inch you want to use. But you can also measure it, so I'll just try to describe this for us using this dummy. So now to measure it, you just need to take the tape over your head, you can see like this, and then you stop it around your neck bone area, like this. So whatever measurements you get is what you are using. But normally, I use around 15, 16 inches for an adult, and it's okay for me. So now I have 15 inches here. This is 15 inches by 10 and a half inches and then i'm just going to curve it because that is the style i want i don't want it to just be standing sharp four corner at the back of the head so i'm just going to be curving it a bit like this and then this side will be left straight because this is the open part that will be on the face so i have this now and then i'm going to cut this out so now I'll cut out this shape because this is the shape that I'm going to for my neckline for my hoodie. Sorry, I remember the measurement is 10 and a half inches by 15 inches. And I showed us how we can measure it if we want to get exact measurement of our hoodies. Okay, so this is what we have now. So on the neckline here. Remember, this is what we'll be showing to the neckline. On the neckline here, you can actually maybe give it a bit of curve because it's on you. You can leave it straight here, or you can just curve it a bit because we'll be showing this to the neckline, and the neckline is not usually straight. So that's why I'm doing this. So I have this now, and then I'll be lining this with the jean fabric that I used as the bodies for my kimono dress so now i'm just going to place what i have here on the jean fabric and then i'm going to trace it out okay so i've cut out this shape also on my jean fabric so now the next thing i'm going to do now can see this curve line i'm going to go over to my machine now and sew it by maybe half or quarter of an inch so i'm going to sew the curved area like this and i'm also going to do the same thing on the entire fabric and then bring it back to show us okay so now i've sewn it now together and as you can see if we turn it out this is what the hoodie will be looking like so now the next thing for me now is to use them to turn each other neatly so that all these rough edges are not be seeing it so to do that now remember this is what i want to achieve just to place the wrong side together so that it will be neatly finished both inside and outside so to do that now i'll be placing it right side facing right side and then i'll pin it and then sew it together like this but because i want to add like a drawstring I also had like a rope to attach to draw a rope around this neckline. 
and I want it to be neatly finished also. So I'll be putting the rope. I just cut a long strip of fabric. I'm using this jean as the casing for my rope. So this is the casing I'm creating. I'll be putting the casing in between like this before place putting this so that by the time I sew it, everything will be neatly finished inside and then I can easily create my casing on top of the entire fabric like this. Okay, so now I'll take this to the sewing machine now and then I'm going to sew it round and then bring it back to see what we have. Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew it round like I said and I put my casing inside, it's just about one and a half inches and then I've sewn it together so now I'm going to turn it out I hope we are getting this so by the time it, I turn it out, you can see that the, neat, the inside is neat and the outside is also neat because I want the entire to be the outside okay? and I use the jean as lining okay? so the, the strap that I had there to it now is for my casing like I said so now to create a casing and when I was adding it I made sure that I didn't add it up to the down part here remember I'm still going to sew this to the neckline so that I don't close up my neckline that was why I stopped there so now to create my casing I'm just going to fold this over like this and then place it on the Ankara like this and then I'll do this round and then tape it around the Ankara I'm using a contrasting fabric because I want it to be obvious I want it to add like another effect for me so I'm just going to tape it and it will have like a hole here where I can pass my my rope and to finish it neatly also you can see at the hemline here I already folded it in so that this here I will not be seeing this rough edges here so I did all that just to achieve the neat finishing you want to consider all that when you are doing yours also so now I'll take you to the same machine now and then create the casing around okay so I've created the casing now you can see I've sewn it together I can see what I was seeing I just wanted to hide another blend of color that was why I used a plain fabric to tape it outwards like this so that it's very obvious so now the casing is here is not closed and I've made a very long rope which I'll be passing through the casing rand to do my drawstring so now our hoodie is ready and you can see how neat it is both inside and outside the next thing now is to add this lower part to the neckline of my dress okay so now I'll take my kimono now and then I'll pin this round it around the neckline it has to match if you use the correct measurement okay so now like I said the right side here the Akira part is what I want to be showing outside as the right side so I'll be placing it right side to the right side the aim is just for me to tuck these rough edges inside this hoodie so I will separate the Akira from the lining and then I'll place it by sewing the Akira around and then covering it inside with the lining Okay, so let's check what we have now. If you look at it very well, you will see that it will just match up with the measurement that we took. So you can see, if you take your measurements correctly, it just has to match up like this. So now I take it to the sewing machine now and sew it. Or if you don't want to sew it separately, you just fold this in and make sure that this neckline is in between the two of them. And remember that I said that I decided not to add my casing up to this place because this is what is going, I'm going to sew into my allowance and I cannot close up my casing so that was why this space was left. So I'm going to the sewing machine now and then I'm going to sew my hoodie to my dress and then I'll bring it back to show us. Okay so I've sewn the Ankara around the neckline now you can see from one hand to the other. Now I'm going to bring the clean part of it and then i'll use it to cover it up like this and then i'm going to sew it so that i'll have something this neat okay so i've sewn it completely now and you can see how neat it is both inside and outside so the last thing to do now is to pass my rope through the casing that i created and then our dress is ready okay so now i've passed my rope see what this is it's really cute and beautiful to make so you can draw it you can gather it anyhow you want and even on the hemline of this rope you can add like beads to it or whatever it is you want 
So this is the front of the dress and this is what the back of the dress is looking like. You can just drop the hood down like this. You don't want to, you don't want to wear the hood with it. So I'll put this on the mannequin now so that we can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is our hoodie on our mannequin. I can see how cute this is. Okay, like I said, you can draw the string as much as you want to form any style that you wish to form. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, kindly give this tutorial a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section if this has been helpful to you. See you in the next one.